It has been four months. It has been four months since I first had to run from Eric, and I've been running ever since. He has broken my glasses twice, gave me a black eye, busted my lip. We've been in the principal's office, his parents and mine, and it's brought no sort of resolution whatsoever. So today, I'm going to take matters into my own hands. 12.10 p.m., as I told you, sixth graders go down to lunch. 12.15 p.m., Eric comes around. But today, when he comes around, he doesn't even have to ask me. I hand him my chocolate milk. I am glad to do it. I even give him my chocolate chip cookie, too. He looks at me. He says, oh, you finally got smart. I said, yeah, Eric, you're right. I don't feel like getting beaten up anymore. 12.35 p.m. Every day, Eric has this ritual going to the bathroom. It's like clockwork. I've watched him for the last month, all 31 days of October. Yes, I have. Today is no different. But this time, I asked Miss Green, that's our teacher, to let me go to the bathroom at 12.30. She does, because I'm a good student. I don't give her any problems. I go to the corner of the bathroom and I wait. And when I was growing up, we wore these big things called rubber ducky boots. They were these big giant galoshes. This was before Timberlands and all that stuff. And I removed my right one and put it in my hand. I stood at the back of the bathroom. Eric came in through the side doors and went to the stall. Closed the door and never even saw me. Slowly, stealthily, I crept right next to it. Five minutes later, he had finished his business. He was flushing and getting ready to come out, whistling some tune. I have no idea what it was, sound like. I don't know. But it was crazy, and so was he. But I think I was crazier today. As soon as he stepped out the hall, I swung. With everything I had, I swung. And so, because I told you he fell to sixth grade twice and he was bigger than me, stronger than me, I swung again. I swung again. I swung again. And I kept swinging, and I kept swinging. Soon I was swinging in air because Eric had fallen. And so I kept swinging while he was down. And there was these noises that started coming out. They were squealing, help, help, help. And then I realized they were coming from Eric. He was louder. And so as he got louder, I kept swinging. And I kept swinging more. And I couldn't stop. And then I heard crying. And I thought it was me because I had been so upset. But it was Eric. And I said, oh, my God. I've got to hit him some more because I can't let him get up. And I kept hitting him until some hands grabbed me. Miss Green had come into the bathroom. The kids from my class spilled in and were outside the bathroom. Miss Green, being a grown adult woman, couldn't pull me away from trying to swing at Eric. And finally, I broke away. I got close enough to him. The tears were running down his face. Red stuff was coming from his head. And I got as close as I could to him in a voice that sounded so unfamiliar, so strong, so much bass in it said, from now on, every day, I want your chocolate milk. My poem. Thank y'all.